<laughs> hey, what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Lucky Da Vinci, man. I'm rolling down with IVTV. You know what I'm saying? I got my guest with me right now, man. Yeah. Young Joe, you know what I'm saying? Wow. AKA, man, LD Shakur, man. What it do, boy? You no, know, it's cool, man. What's up, man? man? You already know we doing it. How we doing it for TV? You already know what it is, oh, man. Damn right, man. So what's good with you, boy? How you living, man? What's up with your projects and shit, man? Let them know where you come from, man. What your name represents, man. Yeah. First off, out to my, you know what I'm saying? Stand up. That's the city. That's where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? My name, LD, aka Young Joe. I get that strictly from the Bible. And all I gotta do is just go check out the Bible, the Book of Job, and that'll tell you everything about me, basically. I just felt like, like just like Job in the Bible. You know, he lost it all, and he kept his faith with God after he lost it all. I'm talking about from money, everything everything he owned, to his kids, every last one of his kids, to even his body went to getting afflicted, you know what I'm saying? He went to getting all type of everything, though, just every, everything. But he kept his faith and never, never lost his faith with God. And God blessed him to have everything that he lost. Double, you feel me? So I just feel like if I keep my faith, and I just know what I'm saying, just, just keep praying and just keep understanding the faith, I, I get everything I lost and it's in double, you feel me? That was so, man. That's, that's how I get so. young Joe. So that goes to show, as long as you got faith, man, you persevere, you know what I'm saying? You stay headstrong. For real. That's the main thing it's gonna take for you to get somewhere. You gotta believe in yourself no matter what position you're in. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I do. First and foremost, like I'm telling you right now, just keep faith, man. You know what I'm saying? God has the last say. You know what I mean? As you can see, man, yeah. man's holding it down, doing shows, doing all that shit, man. Still dropping CDs, man. Still getting to it. You know what I'm saying? So, don't never let anything stop you, no matter what it is in the situation, man. Just keep your head strong, man. It's all on you, no matter what. Yeah, you know, I start, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do it, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, you feel me? I don't let nothing stop me. I mean, I know I know a lot of people in my situation, but they like, gave up. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to be the person, you know what I'm saying, to stand up for the people that like, gave up and show them that, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no reason to give up. You still can do everything that you wanted to do before your accident or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And just work with it. That's what yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. So to be a stand-up guy, you don't always need your legs, you feel what I'm saying? Nah, that's you know what I'm saying? Real, real shit. Real, like <laughs> real. All right, now, so let's get into this music shit, man. How long you been busting them down with these tracks, man? How long you been fucking them up, bro? Really, since I was like 13, making my own money. Like, I was 13, I didn't know I wasn't in the street yet, but I was selling coupon books and I was making money every day. Like when I started, soon as I started making money, and I, I, that was my outlet. Like writing always been like my outlet. You feel me? Just, just on me expressing myself. So when I went to making money and I ran across the studio and I had all my little homeboys with me, so we just pitched in and we all went to the studio. And that's what really that was. That was like, that was, like I say, I was 13 and I wasn't even really serious like that. Really, you know what I'm saying? I was just doing it because I knew I had the talent to rap. So I was just doing it then, but I always felt like I didn't even really have nothing really to talk about, you feel me? So I was like, like I always felt like rappers always really needed something really passionate or something really to talk about for anybody to even relate to in your story. Exactly. You feel me? So that's what really kind of got me off of rapping and, 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 and I just ended up getting into the streets. And then after that, I got hurt and then that just, I felt like after that, I had so much to talk about. Which is that struggle. You, you, you feel me? Yeah. For real though, so it's like, that's just, that's what really just boosted me. So like, I, I, I mean, I, like 2007, after I got hurt in 2005, I started again in like 2007, 2008. And I still wasn't serious like that. The street still pulling me back in. So I really, I really just got serious cause like this year, for real, dude. At the beginning of this year, you can you can go look at on my YouTube channel, all 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 of my all of my, all of my, all of my, uh, my social media sites. I really just started pushing everything this year. You know what I'm saying? So it's really like I don't know, but I've been doing it. I've been doing it for the longest, dude. I probably I started I started writing rhymes when I was like mm. ten. Okay. Okay. So you saying you really just started doing it this year? You know what I'm like, saying? Like my passion. Yeah, yeah. So what the fuck made the light bulb click on now? I mean, you've been doing this shit. You've been killing motherfuckers. They, they've been buzzing about you. LD this, LD that. You know what I'm saying? You know how the hood speak. You know, when the streets talk for you, you ain't speaking for yourself. You gotta be something real. You know what I'm saying? So, what the light bulb cut on that for you to be like, just fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time. 
I don't know, man. It's just like I did uh, when I did my first show this year. You know what I'm saying? At Black Black Youngstar, I had my first show in Sanford. It's just, it's just with the crowd, I guess. It just with the feeling. You know, I, 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 I had the feeling before. You know what I'm saying? When I did, when I used to do shows in like 2007, 2008, I used to do little, little shows like, but it was just like showcases, and it kind of yeah. like just turned me off. It was just like. I was just spending a lot of money. You felt like you weren't really getting yeah, nowhere with it. And I was spending so much money on it. So it was like, it kind of turned me off almost. Like, I'm like, I ain't going nowhere with it, bro. I'm spending so much money. And it was like, it kind of turned me off. So I was like, I got to do something to get some more money. You exactly. Know? So that's how I ended up getting back into the streets. I ended up getting in trouble and getting put back on probation and a wheelchair, bro. Like, I did three years on paper, man. So just dope, for real dope. Call the S and D charge, like that's why I can really, I, I really, I got a lot to talk about. Right? I, 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 I got hurt. I just uh, started getting money after getting hurt and went to jail. All of that, you know what I'm saying? I had my house, I had my house kicked in and all, but like for real though, like really, real, real. I'm, you can go look me up, bro. I don't know, really, I'm, I, I, I'm a street nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just really just want to get out of the street, and it's like. I don't know, man. It's just like, I don't know. It's just feel, I feel like it's time. Yeah, exactly. So you it's just it. like, I can feel this. You know, it's t timing is everything for mm -hmm. anything. Most really. definitely. Most definitely. So it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's, just, it's time. I feel like it's, it's that time. So that's really why I've been going hard. And that's really why I, it's just like, I know it's time. Yeah, I'm right. It's all about putting that work ethic. For real. Saying? And believing in that work ethic. For real, ethic. yeah. At the same time, you still got to be patient. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Still got to feed yourself. Still got to put food on my motherfucking table. So. That's inevitable, but at the really? same time, like, while you out here doing what you're doing, bro, you just gotta just stay focused like you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That law of attraction. Cause I ain't trying to get caked up out here, you feel me or not? Now I'm somewhat stuck for exactly. some years, and I'm just a waste of talent. Like, it's a lot of wasted talent, bro, sitting in jail, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For real, though. That's how it's designed, though, you know what I'm saying? It's all about you just staying on a narrow yeah. path, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy for us, they ain't gonna make it no easier for us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But as long as you recognize that, and you just try to calculate your steps, mo. Everything work out. I feel like, and I feel like I can help a lot of kids, bro, with my music. Exactly. You feel me? For real, though. Like, I, I, I mean, I, when they look at me, bro, and see what, and, I, and they listen and see what I done went through, bro, that, that hopefully I can stop a lot of kids from making the same bad decisions I made. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 really one of my big goals with my music. Damn yeah, right. That's what it is, though. That's what it is. So. You know the YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? I had to get on that, you know what I mean? How they were trying to hate on you and shit. Amazing, amazing boy on wheelchair raps, all this hip fuck shit, man. You know, he <laughs> trying to make it hard for you, man. But that Iron Man, old boy. Yeah. That Iron Man, old boy. Iron Man. They baby. are not ready for that Iron Man, boy. I mean, y'all, listen. I love that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Straight up, boy. You know what I'm saying? That Batmobile. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, I swear, man. This is the trap. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> for real, man. I get a lot of love for that. How the like, hell, though, bro? What made you even come up with that shit? Because when I see the shit Iron Man, I'm thinking to myself, all right, cuz that was smart. You know what I'm saying? I know he ain't on this yeah. comic book Iron Man shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I hear you drop the motherfucker, and I'm like, this nigga got too much fun, boy. Oh, I didn't hear what you was just bullshitting. I mean, it's like, to be honest, yeah, man. Basically, though, man, me and my dog, bro, real shit, cause I got a motherfucker. I gotta say this, dude. I gotta bring up my dog every time, man. He was the nigga, bro. We was in there just clowning this shit, freestyling this shit. And he was like, I am an Iron Man. I was like, oh shit. Know what I'm saying? I like this shit. <laughs> I'm like, then I came up with the voice to like, yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. I'm like, what? That's how I'm gonna say it too. Iron Man. He was like, yeah, yeah, man. Cause you know, everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I kill a chorus. Yeah, fat. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I just, I just, right in and up. I don't even know how I, that's a lot of, that's a lot of time, bro. I'll be like, damn, where that shit came from? Yeah. Real though, bro. I, I gotta give it to him, bro. He, he came with the Iron Man shit, you know what I'm saying? Then, then we came up with the superhero shit. You feel me? And then it just took off from there, really, though. You know what I'm saying? I just put the hook together, you know what I'm saying? And that shit, I was like, damn, that shit was a hit. I knew that shit was gonna throw I knew that shit was gonna be a hit, bro. As soon as I came up with the fucking hook, bro, and I just kept repeating that shit, I'm like, boy, 
That's gonna be that hit. I ain't even have no beef for that shit yet. I call my dog, you know what I'm saying? Precise over there. Shout out to Precise. Shout out to Precise. Real shit over there. Already, man. He do all my beef. He do all my beef. Size <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. That nigga, bro, I told, I told him what I wanted. And I told him, I, I, I rapped it to him, bro. And he was like, okay, hell yeah. And he loved it too. Right then and up, you know what I'm saying? So. He, got, he had to beat probably back to them probably like the next day or, or the day after that, bro. For real, for real, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. And then, and then I, I, I wrote that shit. It probably took me, I don't know, it took me, it, was, it probably took me like a week, bro. When I wrote that shit, when I first heard that, when all of us in the studio first heard that shit, everybody was like, boy. I know I was. That shit, bro. I was the same way as yeah. I don't know how long it took for it to get to me, but when that bitch got to me, I was like, boy, you know what I'm saying? Real, bro. I'm talking about, I'm talking about even the little kids, bro. I walk through the neighborhood, bro, and they, they know me off of that song, bro. That real shit, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, and that's what kind of told me, you know, I got, okay, you got something. Because when the kids feeling something, that's a hit, I feel like. Yeah. For real, though. The kids, the females. You got them two in the bag, boy, you know the niggas gonna follow behind. You feel me? That's, that's a wrap. Game, you feel me? It's a wrap. Exactly. The kids playing every day in the car on their phone. You know what I'm saying? You know they got it. You already know they moan and talking about it, right? Because they got it in their phone, boy. You believe it. For real, I'm telling you, man. It's crazy, dude. Damn right. So, TNL. Taking no losses. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? What, what was it? Like, what fuel taking no losses? What made you come up with that? Concept, you know what I'm saying? Like, what made that stamp? You know what I mean? So like I just, I done took so many losses, bro. I done took so many losses, bro. So it's like, I can't take no more losses, but I gotta win some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real. So that's like my whole model. Not like I, don't, I ain't taking no loss, bro. I done took so many losses just to win, bro. Like for real, though, okay? Process. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I can't do nothing, I can't take no more L's, bro. That's not me and my clay, though, bro. Not, not me and my clay, though, bro. Not me and my family, bro. We don't took, we don't took too many, bro. Exactly, boy. I feel like 10 L's, I ain't taking no loss. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, and, 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 and who can't rock with that, bro? Who wanna lose? You feel me? Anybody can relate to that shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a soul. Right. I don't wanna lose. You know what I'm saying? Right now, though, bro. bro. So, I mean, it just stuck, though. That's real now, that's real now. So, the last project right here, you know what I'm saying? Kids that are still breathing. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Promo CD, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cuz got that shit rocking and rolling, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, dude. Just letting you know, you ain't right in the chest. Yeah, man. You kids death, you know, you went through hell. I'm saying, you know you went through hell, you know what I mean? Really? But it was, it was just a strong amount of this in him, man. It just made him push forward. I've been through 10 years of this shit, cuz. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? For real, though. I've been going through 10 years of this shit, bro. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much used to it. Uh, I mean, I, and I ain't never folded, cuz. Exactly. Don't nigga. get it wrong. Don't get it that, right. That ain't how right. I ain't never folded, <laughs> It's like, I, 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 everybody, you can ask anybody about me, bro. I keep a smile, bro. When they see me, bro, I'm always, I'm always up, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I mean, I have days, but I ain't gonna let you know I have days. Bro. Real so, shit. Real it shit. Just, just, I don't know. It's, I ain't never, I ain't never been down like that, bro. I mean, like, the first couple months when I was in the hospital was like my hardest time. But when I came home and received all the love from my people and my friends and shit, bro, it's like, ever since then, bro, I've been 100, bro, like, you shit, bro, like, it is what it is, I'm gonna roll with the punches. It's real, boy, you got a real support system, though, man. Yeah, that do, type bro. of love will keep I you do, bro. Like, going, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I, I just lost my dog, bro, and he was in the same situation, bro, and he didn't have no support to me, bro, he, he, he died, bro. He shit. Shout out to New York, man. Shout out to my boy, New York, bro. Rest in peace, New York, bro, no way, man. It's crazy, bro, that shit, that shit. It's crazy, but like, yeah, I love my people, you know what I'm saying? That's why, boy, when I get in a position, they gonna be, everybody gonna ride me, gonna be screwed. Yeah, what's up, boy? That's what's up. So, back to the music, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get, we get past all this sympathetic <laughs> shit, man, because we rockin' and rolling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Literally, man, I don't want no sympathy. I don't want no sympathy for nobody. We don't do no pity parties, no man. Shit, though, I'm you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm, I'm the same nigga, but I tell you everybody that shit, bro. I'm the same nigga I was before I got hurt, you know what I'm saying? I'm just wiser. The only real. difference, you feel me? Don't know what I'm saying? Don't treat me like shit, bro. Treat me like the same nigga I was. You feel me? Damn right. For real, dude. All day. That's what's up. So, what's music? 
Who you wanna work with, or, you know what I'm saying? Who you think out there, hot as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, who can you give a big shout out to this music shit that's within us in Central Florida, you know what I'm saying? Who you got a real eye for, you know what I'm saying? Central Florida, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say, a shout out to a nigga from my hood, you know what I'm saying? Boss Man JD, he's doing his thing, you know? I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't knock that. Then you got, you know, got, you got the other, the older vets, kind of, I'm gonna say they best, that shit, like Mook Boy. D boy, you feel me? Those niggas have been putting in work for a little minute, dude. I work with them, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Who else? We got. It's quite a few, though. Like, I like Pig, though. I, but I already got Pig on some, but I definitely want to get on some more shit. Yeah, shout out to Pig. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And then, like, you got badass Becky, though. I like Becky, too. I fuck with Becky. Mm hmm. Kodak, you know what I'm saying? Already. You feel me? That's what's up, boy. You know what I'm saying? We just. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see where your head at. I'm versatile, bro. I'm versatile, bro. Like, for real, though. Like, I feel like I can get on, I can get on track with anybody. I'm going to do my thing. You feel me? I, I'm versatile. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. I really like a lot of music, dude. I like a lot. I like different shit, bro. Exactly. Straight up. Exactly. That's what it is, man. So, how they reach you, though, man? We need to let them know how to reach you, man, because it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pop man. like a motherfucker. Like I said, my Facebook is LD Secure. You can hit me on that. My Instagram is LD100, Joel1000. You can hit me on that, you feel me? And if you want to hit me up, 407 955 7702. You can call straight directly to me, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get in the tournament, let me know. Hit me up for a feature, whatever.